In the tabling area, we have several different presses that we use to press the variety of Life Plus products. Each of the presses has a slightly different design and imparts slightly different characteristics to the finished tablet. We can alter the tablet diameter, the tablet thickness, and many of the other qualities of the tablet depending upon which press we select for our product. At the end of the development stage for a new product, we will have a press determined and all future runs of that product will be run on that same press. Things that we consider in that are things such as the friability, which is the ruggedness of the ability of the tablet to stay together, to hold together in the bottle while it's being shipped. Another very important consideration for us is the disintegration time or the solubility of the product so that once you consume it, it goes ahead and dissolves and is bioavailable to your body. To begin the tableting process, production will move the containers of the powder to be tableted to a staging area upstairs in the mezzanine overhead. From there, the powder is gravity fed into the hoppers on the tablet press. And the tablet press then takes the material through a feed frame, dispenses it into the dies, and the upper and lower punches press the powder, the exact amount of powder, into a tablet. The lower die then kicks the tablet back out of the die table and off onto a chute where it goes through a deduster for storage. Tableting at the beginning of the production process stages their material and then quality control comes in and approves the material to be tableted. The production people will then take the powder, start the tablet press, and begin making adjustments to the tablet press until they've achieved the proper thickness and weight of the tablet according to the batch records and specifications for that particular product. Once the production people are satisfied that the press is working properly, quality control comes in, collects their own sample, and they will verify the weight, the thickness, check the friability, and also the disintegration time to make sure all the necessary specifications are being met for that product. Once quality control releases the press to begin full production, production will begin and tableting, the tableting production personnel will check the tablets every 15 minutes to make sure the proper weight and thickness are being delivered by the tablet press. Quality control will come in every 30 minutes, collect their own sample, verify weight and thickness, and again check friability and disintegration as required for the product. This process continues with both production and quality control continuously testing the product as it's being pressed to make sure that all the specifications have been met for that particular product. At the end of the run, the quality control pulls a final sample and then verifies the weight of the material that was tableted to ensure that the proper yield for that production was met. The final step in the tableting process is to load the tablet cores into the coating pan. Quality control will come in check and verify that the appropriate lot of material is in the coating pan and the coating operator is then released to go ahead and begin the coating process. The coating operator then adds a thin coat of shellac, a tree-based resin, onto the material and this binds with the outer surface of the tablet and achieves three things. The first thing it does is help protect the tablet and ensure the friability of the tablet, the ruggedness, protect the tablet from physical damage. The second thing it does is keeps the tablets and the active ingredients in the tablets from being exposed to either air, light, or moisture. The third thing that it does is because many vitamins have a very strong smell and a lot of our herbal components have a very strong smell, it masks the smell and the taste of the tablet and it also slickens the tablet up a little bit, making it easier to swallow when you consume the finished good.